Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to talk about how I got into the sport of running. So this video is you know, intended for people who've never ran before or just want to get into the sport for the first time. And hopefully my story, I can share with you some of the trials and tribulations that I have to go through while you know getting into this amazing sport of running. So hopefully I answer some of the questions that you had. And if you like this information and you find it useful, feel free to hit that like button and hit subscribe. And let's get going. I got started running because one of my coworkers forced me to run this 3.5 mile race for charity and you know at first I didn't want to do it but after a lot of peer pressure I finally gave in. Um, while registering for the race it asked me for how long I think I would finish the race and I had absolutely no idea so I put one hour uh, which uh, probably was not a good idea because they placed me in the back all the way back about a mile behind 12,000 people uh, who were walkers. Um, so it took me a while to get up to the front of the pack once the guns went off. Um, I finished the race magically uh, with a time of 35 minutes. Um, after that I was like, okay, you know, this isn't so bad, maybe I can do this more often. Uh, so ever since then I started, you know, buying a pair of shoes, I started training more, I was like, okay, um, this isn't so bad. So, you know, one run a week became two runs a week and then that slowly became three runs a week and four runs a week and before you know it I had a training schedule down and I started running 5k's and you know I just completed a half marathon so you know it all spiraled from that the best part of running to me is definitely the endorphins you get after completing a run um, you feel amazing uh, mentally um, and you know and most runners will tell you that's uh, one of the reasons why they keep on running. It just uh, mentally, it, it clears your mind and makes you feel accomplished for the day. You know, it makes you, uh, if you get up early in the morning, you feel like you've completed your whole day already. So, you know, it definitely makes you feel like uh, you're productive during the day. Um, you know, another added side benefit definitely, you know, for people that need to lose weight, running will definitely uh, tone you down and help you lose weight pretty fast. So. Yeah, those are some of uh, the biggest things that I, what I like about running. What I don't like about running, number one atop top that list is definitely getting injured. Um, having started running for less than a year, I don't know, I can't even keep count of how many times I've been hurt. Uh, I've had tendonitis pretty much everywhere. My hips have been hurting, my toes, uh, you name it. Some places where I didn't even think you could get hurt, I've been hurt there. So injuries suck and as a runner or anyone starting out, you know, you're going to deal with injuries. Uh, you're going to have IT band issues or, you know, it's going to affect your daily walking. Um, and that, no, that's just the price you pay, you know, for pounding the pavement all the time. Um, it's Running is a pretty, uh, you know, it's a pretty uh, aggressive sport. You know, you might think just someone just running around on the street that seems pretty easy but you know, once you really pick it up and you you know start running seriously um, those miles add up and your legs start hurting so injuries definitely suck and that tops my list of the things that I hate most about running I mean uh, I don't really hate it but you know it's uh, definitely something I dislike uh, another thing is definitely that you know you're gonna have to adjust your schedule uh, your daily schedule I mean so, you know, when you start running and you start picking up the mileage, it takes time from your daily life. So, you know, if you have a job or if you have a family or kids, you know, you're going to have to start planning your runs um, in the middle of all that. You might have to go early in the morning. Or you're going to have to go after work when you're already exhausted. And the last thing you need to do is put on, uh, put, <laughs> to do more work, basically, to run. So, uh, you know, running is going to have an impact on your life. Um, you're, you might not have to, time to spend uh, with your family, your kids, or you know, or or friends even. So you know those days where your friends are asking you to go out for a happy hour. Maybe you're like, ah, oh, sorry, I can't. You know, I gotta get in this one mile run. <laughs> so you know, runners, you know, they all know this situation. So you, yeah, it's definitely gonna have an impact on your schedule, which is definitely another thing I dislike. But you know, uh, the positives outweigh the negatives, I believe. I try to run at least five times a week, so uh, 
I mix in a lot of uh, slow running, which is like nine to 10 minute per mile with some fast running, like tempo runs or interval runs, where you're you know, running like 200 meters and you're pretty quickly and then you know, resting for 30 seconds or a minute. And you know, you're repeating for, you know, like to say six or seven intervals. Um, so, you know, variety is a key. Um, you know, also you want to change the where, place you're running. For instance, you know, you don't always want to run on a treadmill. You want to try to be outside on the road, which uh, imitates race conditions. And, you know, you could also run on the trails or if you live near mountains, um, you know, can go hiking. You know, uh, variety is the key for me. I like to keep my food choices pretty simple so before I go out for a run I usually have like a banana, a yogurt, you know, or uh, something, you know, really simple like a bagel. You know, I don't like to eat too much before a run because, you know, it, it upsets my stomach so, you know, I'm pretty simple with my choices for food. Growing up I was always a big fan of Nike so, you know, uh, up to this day I wear Nike products and I'm not sponsored by them or anything but um, I just like their shoes. Um, so currently I have a few shoes in the rotation. Um, I, my first Nike or running shoe was the Pegasus 35. Um, for faster runs I like to use the Pegasus Turbo 2s. Those are super light. However, the one downside for me at least is they're very tight by the lace area and I've gotten tendonitis on my foot because of that. Uh, for racing, of course, the Vaporfly Next% Percent is my shoe of choice. Uh, as is a lot of other people uh, it does help you shave some time off your PR you know save you some energy while running it's not gonna make you into an Olympian so you know you still have to put in the work and you know put in the miles uh, to get fast but definitely it's a super light shoe it's an amazing shoe but it's also very expensive uh, for everyday running recovery slow jogging I run in the Nike infinity runs uh, those are pretty new, they just came out recently. Uh, they're supposed to help prevent injuries, which is why um, it piqued my interest because I keep getting hurt. So if anything, if I can help uh, limit my injuries, you know, I'm all for it. So uh, those are the shoes that I currently run in. Motivating yourself as a new runner is definitely one of the challenges that I had to face while starting to run. Um, you know, you just gotta, everyone is different. You just gotta, you know, find that unique thing inside that'll keep you involved in the sport, that'll keep you running. You know, for me, it was signing up for a race, maybe, you know, six months or one year down the line. So I have something to train for and a goal in mind, you know, and every day I wake up and I go out for a run, I know that's gonna help me get to my goal slowly. So, you know, everyone's gonna be different. And for some people, you know, running is for losing weight. So you wanna set a goal weight in mind and then you want to track your progress and that you know that whenever you go out to run you're going to help yourself get closer and closer to that goal weight so find that um, you know unique passion or you know um, motivating factor inside of you that will keep you involved in the sport you know before you even start running ask yourself why are you running you know everyone has a different reason why they you know start out in the sport you know for some people it could be just losing weight, for some people it could be to feel good, some people it could be you know, complete a bucket list race that they want to do. So before you even get engaged in running, ask yourself, why are you running? And then once you find that answer, you know, look deep down inside of you to find that unique identifier that'll keep you, you know, active and it'll keep your mind focused on reaching that goal and uh, you, know, you know, you'll be there in no time. Three tips that I would give to new runners starting out is one, definitely invest in a foam roller. Before I started running, I didn't even know what a foam roller did. So it wasn't until I started running and I you know, noticed all this soreness and pain on my legs. Um, I invested in a foam roller and it's helped me tons alleviate some of the pain and aches that you deal with um, if you run constantly. Um, two, I would um, you know look around my your local area to find a running club that you could join. Uh, most of these uh, clubs are filled with amazing people who love the sport and you know have a great passion for running, and it'll help you keep you motivated, um, you know, in the sport. And it'll give you tips and pointers and you know, how you can get better. And you know, running with uh, other people or with a group of people is much different than running by yourself. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave them down below. And I'll see you guys on the next run.